April is the month of the military child, and with Norfolk having the largest naval base in the country, there are lots of kids here who need a little extra support. So Elise Brown was at Bayview Elementary School, one of the many in the district that does whatever it can to help military kids and their families. Military kids serve too. Each year, families say, see you later to loved ones who serve for months at a time. Your average military child will move six to nine times in their K through 12 uh, life, in their educational life. In Norfolk, military kids make up 20% of the student body. While their parents keep an eye on the country, the schools keep watch over kids. Beth Mills is on the front line as the district's military student transition consultant. Every student wants to know when they come here or come to any school, who is going to be my friend? Who am I going to sit with at lunch? Who's going to like me? What do I wear? So being there for them when they get here within those first two weeks and helping them address just that is just an amazing feat. Bayview Elementary bringing military kids together through a military mural project. Teacher Melissa Mitchell oversees it. Even though they're tough and they're some of the most amazing kids you can come across, there's still a lot of feelings going on behind that. With this project, kids are able to express themselves on paper, whether it be happy or sad. We had one child who actually drew a cartoon sequence of an interaction of saying goodbye. The artwork gives students a chance to form bonds. Jade's dad is in the Army. It's fun to make friends with the military kids because you never know um, what kids are sad about their family and so it's nice for you to be there to support them. Kids supporting one another, a job almost as big as their parents supporting the country. In Norfolk, Elise Brown, 13 News Now.